Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL semi-final, season 39, oh my god it's a blitz. Um, it's Sindin with his crazy orc team versus Andri with, you know, just a normal chaos team really. A um, couple of claw palm. His strength 5 warrior is missing, uh, but he does have a wizard and a bribe to make up for that. Uh, but yeah, Sindane's like team is pretty amazing. Like loads of card, loads of might blow. But it's still orcs, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's still orcs, and ultimately they can get clawed out of existence. Uh, this is live. Oh, thank you, thank you, Scroll Dude. It's about time <laughs> that a normal result happened in that division. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no offence to Rick, of course, but, uh... <laughs> like, if I've got Skaven versus Augers, I'm thinking, can I win 8-0? No. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, obviously, that's, like, the best Ogre team ever, isn't it? You never face somebody with six-block Ogres and stuff. But, um... Right. Well, there you go. An exciting blitz. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, no, no. It was meant to matter, but I uh, miscommunicated. So. It is, uh, it is only head to head. Right, I'll update the table actually. Um, now that you mention it. Uh, can, can be up to date, can So Knoz, um is guaranteed top of the uh, no. Yeah, I believe I think he has eight points now. Yeah. So, so he is I don't believe anyone can I don't believe two coaches can pass him. Oh no, he's definitely qualified. It's it's just whether um it's whether he's not top. Like Cruz might be able to get top because they drew, didn't they, I believe. So if Canal loses and Cruz wins two, Cruz can be top, but otherwise Canal's top. He's almost guaranteed top. Yes. Never mind qualified. <laughs> he's, he's yeah he's definitely qualified he's definitely cemented qualification. No he hasn't no, he hasn't, because Rick could win, right? Knorr could lose. Chris could win twice. Uh, sorry, Rick could win. Oh, has Rick played Chris? Yeah, Rick's played Chris. Yes, Rick has played Chris. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Knorr hasn't actually qualified yet, because Chris could win too, Rick could win, and Knorr could lose. So... And then he could lose the random, the random yes, decider the... against Cruz, despite having a touchdown difference of plus eight. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Also, will uh... I'm victorious, and I will defend. Okay. I will defend. Thank you, whoever that was. But Jim, yeah. Jim, hello, Jim Ducker, Jim Ducker, Jim Ducker. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Squirrel, for sorting out all of the tiebreaker stuff. It's very no nice. I figured it was why I was brought on as an admin to do the vague demo democratic system that we use in SFL, but slightly more vague. So. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much. I am an expert at uh, making administrative decisions. Just, so coaches, what do you want to do? <laughs> it's a pretty good, pretty good idea. It's certainly better than Rebel, which is, so who do I like the most? <laughs> <laughs> You just can't take the joke, Jim. The joke being, uh, I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure what the joke joke is. As of pinning someone's comment to the top is. Never yeah. quite figured out what the punchline there is. I'm pretty sure if you said you're just being a dick, they would say, well, the joke is we're being a dick. And then they would look at you Views confused and you explain to them that that isn't actually a joke. By the rebel admin team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
it was that is basically it hello tom schnitz thank you very much for staying fantastic for 19 glorious months nearly five who will be with pregnancies there is nobody dead yet is there there is nobody dead it is only turn one but um two stuns so um the orcs have got a bit of uh, something going a really stupid uh troll or could leave a hit on the ball couldn't it uh no, oh, no, this guy stood up. This guy stood up. If this guy hadn't stood up... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh. If he hadn't stood up, it's just a clean... It's a block and then a GFI to negate an assist. Yeah. From the... Maybe the claw bomber. Oh, but then, um, instead, he just has a guy. <laughs> well, there you go. The Kaz didn't take long. Worst orc, though, isn't it? Just just a guarder. Uh, second worst. Maybe Mr. Throws on the field, after all. Yes, and this, and this dirty player. But, um... Like his team is so good, isn't it, with all this block and guard and palm and tackle and everything. Like it's a real nice team. But is it gonna it's make a pretty any bad difference? pretty bad matchup though, isn't it? Yes. Not only the Chaos have just enough guard that they're not on their warriors in particular, but they're not really it's gonna be hard to guard lock them. They have two palmers, so you can't not like a like a neural team that has one claw palmer, you've got two, so you can't just lock down one. And oh yeah, they have a wizard too. <laughs> so <laughs> this offense, you can't lock down everything and give up the ball. But they don't. This chaos team, if I'm, unless I'm mistaking it, they don't have a super carrier on the field right now to really leverage the wizard. They have no. They have no carrier. No, they've got. Well, they've got this one. Lock, sure hands, tackle, two heads. He's about as basic as it gets. Yeah. So they have. I mean, they have a competent carrier. Kind of like, I don't know if I would take a tackle before the two heads, but I guess you just make a competent player and you... It's a weird kind of ordering. Yeah, yeah, he's just like a generic kind of utility player, isn't he? Yeah, Orcs are one of those teams where if the claw pump doesn't fire, then they just squash you, don't they? But if it does fire and you make this cheeky little removal with a dirty player foul... And your bribe fails. Also, Ooh. Oh. Oh. Rough. That's not ideal. No, that is not a good trade. Also, not activating the troll. Uh... Oh, it wasn't okay, it. sorry. I thought what? That was a wait. You fouled with the garter in this matchup. Why? Mm -mm. I mean, you have a bribe. No, 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 no. Scroll, scroll, scroll. The garter was the guy who got sent off. It wasn't a dirty player, and he he fouled the. Uh... He fouled the pom, the pom okay, jugs, okay. tackled pro guy. <laughs> okay, I had my turn orders messed up there when I was hearing audio. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm still a bit surprised you fouled with the guarder there, but I guess he is the worst freed up beast man. Yeah, yeah, he does. And you have a bribe, so you're thinking it's like it's like less than one in six that he gets sent off. Yeah, I, I knew he had a dirty player, but obviously the dirty player was stranded, so he couldn't. And he thought it was just more important to get that foul, and it was yeah. three assists, wasn't it, with the uh, troll being stupid. You're looking on the sideline, you're like, boy, I wish that was the beard and seemingly wholly unnecessary second sure hands goat that was doing that foul. <laughs> yes! But that wasn't an option. And to follow up on the thought that, yes, uh, orcs can control and win. Also, beastmen are armor value 8, and... Orcs have Mighty Blow. They can just kill the beast. Like that's that's always an opportunity available to them. They're just Dark Elves that don't have dodge. They're not really that strong of a team. Yeah, absolutely. Like they just kill four. Yeah, he's he's got Pom versus Armor Eight. It's not that much worse than Claw Pom. And uh, obviously he's got he's got plenty of uh, Mighty Blow as well, hasn't he? They generally have more Mighty Blow than the Chaos have, right? He's got two Mighty Blow, three Mighty Blow there in a row. No. Two mighty blow, and it hasn't got much mighty blow actually. This team, this team, oh, they, oh this is Sindane. It's not Singolo's team. This is Sindane's team, right? I was thinking it was Singolo. Singolo's team is incredible. Sindane's team isn't. He's got two, two poms and two mighty blows, so he actually hasn't got that much violence, has he? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's fucked then. I reckon this is Andre's. <laughs> I reckon this is Andre's game to win. I've been laboring under the assumption that this is Singolo's brilliant team. <laughs> Oop for goal. It's still a solid orc team, but orcs are always underwhelming, and I think this is going to be an issue. Un unrelated, I think it's going to be still a bit of an issue, and oh god, this stupid fucker. <laughs> um, 
Might have, might have seen a 2D on the ball. <laughs> he, relied, he relied on this to stop 2D on the ball, which I think is crazy. Is it 2D? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dirty player. There's no real recovery, except that all the entire, the entire left side is open because the Blitzer came back for some reason way too far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think this is still going to be an issue Orcs will face in 22, in the, some, in the, will arrive eventually digital version of BB2020 because Black Orcs still, or I guess Biggins now, some point in the future. This weird in-between time of additions we exist in now. <laughs> Uh, yeah. they're still gonna develop really bad. Like, you're gonna get blocking guard, and then stand from you're like, wow, this player's really expensive. Or kind of nothing compared to every other strength 4 player still. Yeah, yeah, and it takes them so long to get them as well, which means then the redraft it becomes difficult, so... I will not redraft, sorry. It, yeah, if there was redraft, not in Blood Bowl 3. Oh! <laughs> That's how you. That's how you uh, defend the ball against chaos. You no, know, uh, people always refer to dwarfs, but in fact, as we can see, Mister Throw also a master of the face to fist strategy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, boy howdy! It's a uh, squirrel dude, Magnus the Pink. Squire L dude, as you may know him from his wrestling days. <laughs> I once played Blood Bowl, and then my computer took an arrow to the whatever caused it to like break down and only halfway function. It's it's been it's very it's a very strange time. <laughs> Blood Bowl three, uh, the beta worked for like three days, and then it started crashing. But that was after the update, so who knows? Who knows what it was? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I like doing here? Um, I like putting in two players here, and then chaining this black orc in there, so that you could have made another mm. block. Um, and then, and then, like you know, you'd want those two players to move up anyway. But um... yeah, I can kind of see why I didn't. It might have felt like too much of a commitment, but I don't really know what his blitz plan is here. So obviously, you want to blitz with maybe you just blitz with a troll. Maybe you blitz this idiot, the warrior with the troll, and get the troll and like in the middle of a whole bunch of dudes. Yeah. He's kind of like your most uh, expe expendable player, isn't he? Strength five, hard to get hits on him. Stand firm, can't push him. Thick skull, regen. Yeah. It's fine for him to... He's the thing you're... He's, I mean, he's 87 thick skull, basically, in this matchup. 87 thick skull regions is pretty much as strong as you're going to get. <laughs> Taking a hit with strength 5. So... Is there anything Sunday or Andrew should have done before taking that 1-9 to nine block? Like, maybe he should have stood some players up, but I think maybe he's fine anyway, because it's not like orcs are really going to run away from you here. Yeah, I think... Like, maybe he could have done some safe move. But, um... Ultimately... Like, if you're going for it, you really want to be able to react after, and, you, you know, you're only losing to, like... You're only losing out to, like, a 1 in 36. Or mm -hmm. a 1 in 8. Or... A 1 in 6, then a 1 in 9, isn't it? Or whatever, so, like... It's like... It's really unlikely that it fails, and so I think yeah. sometimes you just got to bite the bullet. Well, one in eighty-one times I will lose. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's and in this case, it's it. like it's not even—it's not even like a loss, right? It's just one in eighty-one times I have a more annoying turn four and turn five. Yeah, this turn three is kind of the same as it was. It's just reconsolidate, but now instead of on the left side, you're on the right side. Yeah. It blitz the you've you. have Heal the black orc in the center to like hit there. Or just, I guess you have to hit the stand from guy now, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, you've got to because you got you got a claw palm. That's the that's the only thing that matters, isn't it? Right? You you go into overtime, well, not necessarily, but you've got a good chance of going overtime. So you play as if you're gonna make overtime, and then therefore yeah. you've got to kill things. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, Sundance has at least done a good job of making it so that you're having to hit into stand firm, which is always kind of an annoying proposition. So, uh, you never really enjoy doing it. It's not yeah. the most fun. The pushes are annoying. And you always kind of want to reroll it, but Andrew probably can't, but who knows? Russian style Blood Bowl, as PC would say. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And again, you should always keep in mind that he has the wizard, so like, always kind of a threat to just make the offensive mess. Oh, he's only moved four. Oh god, well in that case I wouldn't have blitzed with him, oh. I would have blitzed with the other one. Yeah, you can't reroll the Geofy there, though. No, that's, that's, that's rotten. I mean, that is rotten. He, he, like, obviously, I don't know his guy's movement for because I've just seen his team. He knows his guy's movement for. He's got to know he's got a GFI there, so he should have blitzed with the other one. That's just bad, isn't it? Yeah. It's just Also, bad. um, let's, I mean, well, I should say, they can get off easier, but they're both easily just decouple if you roll the push. But I guess the Beast, since it has more movement, doesn't have to do the GFI afterwards. And you're probably happy. You roll pushes just to make the three plus dodge away, so you're not stuck on a stand firm the turn afterwards. Maybe, yeah. Uh, he hasn't got mighty blow though, he's not that scurvy. Oh, it's not he? the, um, yeah, I don't care about the, the block so much as I just said. Like, I'd rather fail the dodge in the turn than fail the dodge at the start of the turn to take a block I want to, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's, you're gonna, if you're gonna fail the, you're gonna have the dodge fail, you're gonna make the dodge make it at, like, the end of your activation all in turn rather than the middle of it the next turn. Hmm. And the, the bad thing about that 1 in 81 is that his wizard has lost a lot of value, but then, for some reason, Sundane is coming back to the centre, so actually his wizard gets some value back, doesn't it, now? As he's... I can kind of see it. He probably feels reasonably that he's got pretty good control of this middle now, because all these beastmen have just stayed laying down. And the two scary players have run away and or are on a troll. Yeah. Interesting. And the wizard has theoretical value here, but I don't really know what he could do. He would need he would need a ducky wizard. Well, I mean, I don't mean this turn, but like it's 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 much yeah, more relevant yeah, yeah. for the rest of the drive now, isn't it? Like he had yes. got past his team, and now his team's all in front of him again. <laughs> and now he's got to get past it again, <laughs> and then protect against the wizard and the strength four blitz from any player. So it's uh, it's a bit tricky. It's getting a bit tricky again. Oh, fugonomics. Yeah, this is the problem, isn't it, when they're all surrounded by orcs and they've all got guard and you're just like, well, I can't even make a 1D. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess the best blitz is the claw pummer blitzing the troll because it's a 75% chance to knock down. They're pretty safe to pile on and freeze up some dudes. Yeah, maybe. I'm just going to block him. Blitz uh, Blitz. Ooh. Oh, now can he still hit him? Four, five, six, seven, seven. He can't. He can't even hit him. He can do it from the left side, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's only one. Yeah. Oh, he was. He said he did the geo five blitz. <laughs> Not gonna reroll it this time. <laughs> sure. Fuck off, Jimmy. Hello, Fluxstreamer. So, Hello, Justicium. Hello, Team Man Taylor. And ha well, fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> Exclamation point quiz pit. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Dimmy's had the nickname of the champ for years, despite never being champ of anything, but now it's finally paid off, and he is the champ. He is the quiz pit champ. <laughs> Woo! Why does this ball feel so unprotected? Because it's pretty unprotected. It's with your return, so it'll get better, but... It just feels like the orc should be in complete control, and it feels like this ball... A bunch of blocks are taken. I guess it just moves to the left a little bit. The black orc moves a couple squares to the left, and it's fine. But... Feels like that was all harder than it needed to be. I mean, everyone is down, which is quite nice, isn't it? And he's blitzing him to free up him. He can't get that far forward, can he? He can. Maybe throw him to foul on the claw bomber the next turn, which is pretty nice. Oh, yeah. The... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's 
still like to get a bit far forward. Like this guy could have been here, I think. I think with Mr. Throw can be there. There's no reason, mm. no real need for him to be further back. Now he's at max move, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five. And then yep. So he's at max move now to score every turn. Or uh, you know, sometimes they say orcs are uh, slow. They're a slow team. Yeah. Especially when you have a movement five ball carrier that <laughs> Yeah. Not they're... worse. <laughs> Yeah, the Tito was like, let's make that guy, let's make it so he's animosity, and it's just as slow. <laughs> has passed. Yeah, Mr. Throw is so bad in the new rules. He shouldn't do an unassisted foul. Oh, he's, he's foul bad. I hate this. I hate this. Okay, well, well done. That's the right move. <laughs> <laughs> that was, no, that was a three, that was a three, that was a two assist foul on a... Right, four guys, it's not yeah. terrible. But I much prefer just moving up and getting this guy out the next turn. I guess the, the thing is then he might not, right? Because he might just hit the thing and then blink mm -hmm. claw on you, dirty player. At least this way you get you sort of him. I mean, at this point he basically just ate an apothecary, so... Okay. It might help... I'm not sure it helps secure the drive. But... I'm not sure how great of a use it really was. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's an apothecary down, so every oh. removal now matters. It's not Nurgle. No, at least at least it makes sense why he uh, why he moved the ball back. Do you know what? I I don't hit this four plus three plus two plus two plus hit him. Oh shit! He's fireball. Yeah, he's going for it. Oh, he's got a Kaz. <laughs> apple instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Power apple. He's taking care of it. Now it's just a three plus with a reroll. Oh boy, boy, howdy! This is yeah, the one that had to. to go down. I was, I was looking at that. I'm like, well, there's tackle, so maybe you wait for it at the end of your turn. I wouldn't have thought to use the wizard, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. Well, I hate not other using stand firm. You should have used stand firm, right? And then, oh no, because you'd you push him away. Did. Yeah, you'd have pushed him away. Ne never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Hey, yeah, you're fine with. Yeah, now you don't use it because now control can. Yeah, because he's hidden from that angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just wanted to make sure, as best as he could, I think, to tie up that wrestle tackle beastman because there is a there still isn't recovery for the payoffs, but they they're very happy to go into a half tied. So yeah. Makes the one in nine dodge. <laughs> Rerolls and Boy. gets the pow. Uh, like that's the right reroll, but you really wish you had I don't know one or two more left after that action, so you had a chance to recover and just you know put yourself in a straight winning position next half. Yeah. Instead of. This guy's got a double GFI. By... Yes, yeah, he's got a you have to have this tackle guy. Double GFI to here. Fails the first one. Oof. And Kale. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, this is just an <clears throat> instant GFI blitz, right? With Tackle Guy, you stand up the Palmer next to his Palmer, which is spooky. Um... Just to control the Palmer. And then you take some blocks, with, you get some blocks on blockless guys with your Black Orcs, and then you. Make it a 2D with the... Do you GFI to assist yeah. Palmer? Yeah, I think that's... Because you've got to get the ball this turn. Man, maybe you don't need to get this ball this turn. Maybe you just move him downfield as a scoring threat. And uh, yeah. assist with Mr. Throw and then rely on a pass play. Well, there's been a lot of removals, hasn't there? Five down for the Chaos. And four down for the Orcs. <laughs> got Blood Bowl 7s going on. I board. guess the upside... The pot, the pot, so the downside of bringing the Palmer back is it pretty much kills your chance to score, right? I don't understand why these blocks are happening first, but whatever. They're safer, I guess, so you just want to make sure you're taking action. It's fine. Um, if you take and bring this, your Palmer, you just don't have a player who can score, really. But if you keep him up, it really opens you up, because that guy is strength for uh, the agility 3 dodge when he wants to blitz. So it yeah. gives him a lot of opportunities just to, like, just dodge again and hit you. Well, he's not even blitzing. Well, okay, he's gonna blitz with their throw to pick it up. Yeah, okay, okay, he's that, gonna blitz for pushes. Yeah, sense. that makes sense. That's actually probably better than what we've been discussing. 
Yeah, cause, yeah, I don't know. He's got two rerolls, though. I don't know how to throw. Do you want to get the guy down, times. right? You want to get attacked because because dodge guy is just gonna go for another three plus to hit your ball carrier, no matter what, no matter where this ball is next yeah. turn. Yeah, yeah, right? that's the problem because he can't blitz and throw. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe he just dodges, right? Maybe he just goes for the dodge pass, but then he gets hit like, nailed by the tackle pommer. So yeah. that's also terrible. Yeah, you just blitz for an easy pickup, I guess. And you hope that tackle at least makes it a 1 and 3 failure, not a 1 and 9. Hey! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, he can't score. Boo! This is looking really rough for the Chaos, though. Uh, for the Orcs, though, isn't it? it? Looks like they're going to go in and mm -hmm. nil. Wizard did enough. I don't know. I think he should have just bolted this guy, to be honest. If he was going to do that play. Just fucking either, like, you know, just bolt this dude so that because he, he was the only one that mattered. Like, even though he cast this yeah. guy, um, knocking him down was the only one that if he knocked down the other three, it would have done nothing <laughs> pretty much. I think, well, not nothing, but it, I don't know, knocking down the other three is nowhere near as good as it was knocking him down, basically. Yes. Pushes are pretty annoying. The chaos are really on their ability to run away with the ball now. Yeah. He just can't get away. But he does make all the dice. I mean, also, his goal isn't to score at this point, really, probably. It's probably just to make it impossible for the orcs to score, which I think he's done that by now. Yeah, yeah, this guy coming back did it, didn't it, really? There's there's nothing. This black orc, maybe. Okay, he's already activated him. <laughs> he needs to get a pal and then um, have the. Palmer run up to the right side through the hole that yeah. a pow on the Chaos Warrior generates, which means he has to activate the troll, so you probably recover the ball first. And then, uh, you can't score and you're not doing GFIs. This well, that's totally pointless. Totally pointless move from that black hole. Uh, I mean, maybe he's an assist or a helper for whatever for the Palmer and when the Palmer goes up, but you need to do the splits. It's their powerfuls. Tackles are good skills sometimes. It is, yeah. Usually useful fouls. That's an amazing stun, though. And that's actually a massive armor. It doesn't, the removal doesn't matter. The stun is everything. There. So now there's just now the Chaos have no play to interfere with um, whatever the, whatever the, the uh, orcs do next turn. Yep. So now he takes the troll, the troll block. I guess this, this guy has to go and help the troll. Yeah. Or, oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna do GFIs with the Blitzer, I guess. Well, he's got to. Yeah, he's got to do two anyway to get to get away from him, hasn't he? Yeah. So like, he's got no choice about doing the GFIs. Hit to do the GFIs. I think he should do the GFI again. Here. He, ha he has to. Yeah. He, he just has to. Yeah. So yeah, he's, he's got. Him. And he's also, got a scoring threat. it's also one of those situations where you can make the GFI um, this turn or next turn, right? So. You need to make it next turn anyway, and you have two rerolls. You might as well make it now and get give yourself a shot to make basically two rerolls for two GFIs. This isn't 2020 where you can just keep them all for next turn and use them both. Yeah. Oh, really, Dimmy? Well, why did people say he was Why did people say he was Russian then? Someone told the me American, he was Russian. Spoiler alert, the American school of Blood Bowl is not that different from the Russian school of Blood Bowl. Mm -hmm. It's not an American. It's the same shit. We do the same shit. It's like, let's just, let's just kill the other team. And, well, I guess we pass more, so, you know. We know what, we actually know what football is. <laughs> well, he's about to do a pass now, isn't he? And Mr. Throw's skills finally come in handy. Oh, baby. What a time oh, to be alive. <laughs> Mr. Throw gonna win the game, baby. Yeah, he, he is, he is an at... He's an edgy four passing player, too. Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Throw. I really hate the Claw Pummer, Claw Pummer just running away, though, and just giving this up. Like, I don't know what this Claw Pummer's doing. Yeah, he could have... I mean, he's got no reroll, right? So I guess he thinks if he yeah. fails one of the GFIs and loses Claw Pummer, but... I don't know, this is pretty likely, especially with a reroll, isn't it? I, 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 I like base. I guess he just blisses you off, though, right? He hasn't got a reroll. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's probably pointless. It's probably pointless. No, I, I guess it's okay just running away. 
Yeah. You know, he's going he's to blitz you with two, with probably with three dice with Mighty Blow. What's the fucking point? Yeah, I, I guess it's the first time I not OT, right? In OT, you have to just throw everything into it. At this point, you're just playing for hoping that the hard pass fails. The pass isn't that easy, even with the reroll. Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. Yo. <laughs> Whoa, he did. He stacked two! I think that was probably the wrong play, but there you go. He makes the pass and the catch. All the hard stuff is done. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh god! Oh, uh, screaming that it's not Blood Bowl 2020. I did not. With with the pass skill, I think that was definitely wrong. The GFIs. I'm I'm not sure, but I think making the GFIs with him was wrong. And I'm gonna find I out. I don't know. I don't. I think it was at a three. Plus, it was making a three plus pass from a four plus. I feel. I think two two four to. I think two two from three to four is correct. But it's. But it pass pass changes the maths right, and plus he's got other rolls to go after it. Um, yeah. That he wants the reroll for. So. Um, I think it was wrong. I'm gonna go on to uh, Samba now because that's the kind of fella I am. Right. <laughs> he's got pass. Um. And he's got sure hands, hasn't he? I guess the sure hands doesn't matter because you've got to do that anyway, so just do the pass. Um, 4 plus pass, 3 plus catch, 2 plus GFI is 62.5. Good evening, little wrestlers. What can I do for you? Um, and what he did was 62.872. So it was, it was just better. <laughs> yes. But really fucking close, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. Well, you can almost say that. I wonder. More chance of your players dying doing going his way, though. <laughs> yeah. I would bet his way is almost certainly correct in twenty twenty. Like, oh right? yeah, like, yeah, for sure. It, yeah. For sure, because he had two yeah. rolls. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of funny how um, much that makes that score almost. Very likely by having the second reroll. Yeah. And or an orc like an orc mid range pass with no catch skill. Mm. <laughs> it's like it's probably it was probably probably near seventy five percent with a reroll. <laughs> Once you start pumping up the odds on everything, which is just insane. Yeah. yeah and and that like that's I guess one of the reasons why the uh, nerf throw is right because it does become very easy to do that that pass kind of play. God forbid. Or, you know, maybe you could just work a team that has literally zero players that can get the catch skill, let alone start with it. I guess they have a goblin. <laughs> God, they do have goblins. Okay, ignore it. So they have no real players that can get the catch skill. Maybe they just shouldn't have a player with pass. Wait, what's... Oh yeah, he didn't score. I was thinking, how is he? How is he? No. I only got what? Why? I was like, why is this? Why is this the second half? <laughs> but of course, he didn't <laughs> score. Yeah, but he hasn't got many players left, has he? Eight players for the chaos. Eleven for the orcs. Still, it's a shame we're going to be leaving that amazing, in kind of a funny way, in kind of an ironic way, that orc GFI failure, the orc falling asleep on the field animation behind Blood Bowl Three. Oh, oh if, you, if you've seen the if you've seen the new orc animation. No, I haven't. Well, we, maybe we haven't left it behind. Oh, good. <laughs> I, hope, I hope not. It was, it's it's an amazing <laughs> stupid animation. It is glorious. Yeah. <laughs> what are the odds? There's, uh, it does feel like there's a good chance for the orcs to turn them over. He's just he's just spunked his uh, his. This what's it called? Claw Mighty. I, I think he shouldn't have hit the Claw Mighty right because of the uh, because of the wrestle. Like you've got to hit, oh you've got to hit the wrestlers with your worst players, haven't you? And he, yeah. Also, like wrestle fend guy is literally there just to see if you're dumb enough to hit him with a tackle bomber. <laughs> like that's why he's there. It's yeah. just like, haha, I offend and wrestle. He's actually kind of safe from your claw bomb. That's the only reason he's on the LOS. Yeah. He should not have. He should not hit him with, with a claw. But never mind. But yeah, this is ru this is really rough now. This is really rough. 
I wonder if we'll see a blitz on the claw pommer and then a foul on the claw mighty. Oh, I guess he's not going to foul. He's lost his lost his dirt. Troll's been pretty bad. So Troll's been fine. He's just been he's bad. He's been bad to start of most drives so far. First couple turns he's been terrible, and he's been well behaved after that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they will be dead forever, Dimmy. Hello, Goliath. Um, yeah, you know, like at the end of the day, a lot of the a lot of the blocking animations have been reused, haven't we? That we've seen, so maybe they'll mm -hmm. reuse loads of animations, which is fine. Oh, you thought, fucking bell end. Still got power driver, right? Yeah, there's power, power driver. driver yeah, so that could be the power driver animation. No one's gonna, no one's gonna pile on with. Uh, no one's gonna take power driver on a white, but. The animation will still be there, probably. <laughs> I mean, look, Blood Bowl 2 has leap animation for the Death Roller and Tree, even though no one's ever taken those sides outside of, like, custom teams or, like, forcing SVP to see what they look like. Yeah. True. Does the pile on. I think that's fair enough. He doesn't lose a lot by going for it. Um, and obviously the payoff was massive, wasn't it, if he takes out the claw pot? Mm -hmm. The Kurapam. There's no longer a bribe, there's no longer a dirty player. You're probably fine. Yeah. At this point you're probably safer on the ground than standing up. Yeah, oh he's definitely safer on the ground, yeah. It's just it's just obviously he's like losing the movement and everything, isn't he? Could have, like he could have run back. Um and then you'd have had a lost yeah. more movement ne next turn. But I, Do you like Mr. Throw being on the field over the random ass lineman? No, I fucking hate Mr. Throw. Because of the same movement, and Mr. Mr. Throw has block, and you want you do kind of want to score probably as the Orcs, not go to OT, so maybe you do want the chance to just end the game in regular time. Oh yeah, I think it's it's better to have him on the field, but I just fucking hate Mr. Throw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's it, like he's definitely yeah, um, better, right? Because they've got claw, so that you know they're on. I guess. They're on the I'm just. Anyway. I would keep going on it. I guess it also worked because you put your wrestler on the LOS, and a claw mighty guy hit the wrestle guy instead of not. That would normally be guy or Mr. Throw is and a regular no skill lineman there. So I guess it kinda worked out. Besides Why didn't he blitz him out? Wouldn't he be better to go one, two, three, four, five and hit the uh hit the black oh, no, the black hole? No, no, you go hit the blitzer and you stand in the middle of all his players, so the orcs will just foul you because they don't care. Because they have a spare player and you don't. Yeah. It's that... a claw bomber. I don't understand the not hitting the uh Black Hawk there, but... So he... So let's see here. The Orcs next turn are going to blitz your Claw Mighty with Tackle Pot with their Palmer and pile on. <laughs> then they're probably going to foul your, your Claw Palmer goat. Yeah. Seems like a really pretty straightforward turn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a horrible situation, obviously, being down this many players and stuff, but... Um, he's just... Yeah, what's he going to do? I, I guess he did that blitz so that he's going to dodge him away. Ah, uh, he's gonna dodge, he's gonna dodge this dodge guy, right? So that was the tackle, so that's what he, he blitzed him so he can dodge him. Okay. That's a force of style on the claw bomber. I mean, I guess you have to respect the goat scoring threat because you are tied and not up one as the orcs. So you are trying to play for a nil-nil or one-nil in your favor. You can't just go, whatever you score, we'll take the, <laughs> the draw. Okay, but he's not making a... Sideline cage. I thought maybe he was going to make a sideline cage there. But good afternoon, Fatten. Are there any throws you like? Yeah, Steve Marty, throws that aren't worse than linemen. <laughs> so, like... And Mr. Mr. Throw is unique in that he is a positional... Actually, the runner, or the assassin, is like this, too. Yes. They just, for some reason, have stats that are worse than... Like, straight up worse than linemen on the team. It's really weird. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> You imagine, like in the case of Mr. Thrawn in particular, just imagine a, a lineman that has sure hands, and it's like the exact same player because he's armor value 9. You don't have pass, but you don't pass as orcs, so... It's really weird. <laughs> he's not like 6 3 3 8 and just sure hands or something like that, which makes him, you know, a fa another fast orc on the team and actually maybe good. Yeah. He's a weird player. Yeah, Under Underworld Throw is good because he's better than a goblin. Um, Skaven Throw is fine, right? It's 
Skaven Thrower is a strength three player on a team that has strength two carriers, so he at least has a role. The Human Thrower is a sure hands piece on a team that wants to have rerolls, and the other option is a strength two carrier, really. So he's fine. Um, yeah, like, the Orc Thrower is just kind of unique in that all the options on the team are kind of just better than him, if you can, except for, like, Black Orcs. Arguably, the Goblin, even though he's strength two, is also dodge and stunty and is also faster, so. <laughs> I didn't like yeah, this. Kinda... I, I, I like blitzing him with the Black Orc, right? And even the Black Orc on him because he can't 2 yeah. him, can he? Whereas now he can blitz and mm. get down the field again. Like, this is somebody with very few options, isn't he, uh, Andre? Like, he's really yeah. on the back foot. And to give him, like, an angle, like, I would have had a strength for, like, both of them on him, you know? Like, like both players, yeah. so he couldn't have, uh, oh, I guess another the, guy um... here or something. Like, this is yeah, rough. so I guess the advantage of, of this option. <laughs> Is that you're not committing a black work to deal with a sure hands guy that you don't think is a real scoring threat, or like yeah. a real? It's just a, or you think it's just a distraction, right? So you, so you've got Mister Throw on him, like all right, do what you want, Mister Throw. I guess he's not. <laughs> yeah. And also the tackle, the tackle blitzers over there, so you can't just follow, and so yes, you have enough that it's controlled. You don't, all your black orcs are still in the fight, so I think the trade off probably okay there. I don't like it. Fine. But yes, I, I can see that's what his thinking was, but I think he's wrong. Yeah. Though mm -hmm. now he's got um he's got a uh, he's got the blitz over here, hasn't he, to get this warrior down. This warrior can potato. Mm hmm. Like because that's where is our agility three? Yeah, because like oh, wait, let's check. Yep, he's he is a judge three. I'm sure someone's yeah, he's minus move. Um so give Mr. Throw movement and armor value so if he was a blitzer with sure hands pass and animosity would you take him actually maybe because he's a movement six player on a team that doesn't have movement six players yeah so you might still take him and you would just go you just ignore that animosity exists and just not hand off you just use him as a runner and you'd have the it'd be like um it'd be similar to dwarves who take a second runner sometimes just because having another fast player is good yeah the same reason that like uh, the new Imperial Nobility team will take the um, rowers because they're better than peasants. Yes. <laughs> they're just a good player. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and that's basically why you have, like, underworld throws and stuff, isn't it? Mm hmm Things like that. Oh, God, look, he's fucked. Like, this is the thing. That's not really a decoy, is it? You know, like, if you had a full-strength yeah. team, that, that beast man, yeah, you wouldn't put much on him because he would just be a decoy. But in this, like, that's one of his main ways to score is by that sure hands beast man blitzing and getting downfield. Like, you, do you know what I mean? I think he should have recognized yeah, yeah, yeah. how bad this was for the chaos. And that this actually really is a genuine scoring threat. <laughs> the, the, the yeah, this threat one I wouldn't mind. Um, I think the blitzer needs to move back to the middle of the field just to respond to threats on the either side. And then you have Mr. Thor move two squares up in the blitz and the black orc comes over to base yeah. uh, the sure hands goat. Okay, Blitzer threatening the ball isn't terrible either if you want to go, if you don't want to go to OT because you don't want them to get more KO recovery rules. No, Fine. yeah, yeah. Win now while you've got a massive advantage, I think, is, is a pretty good way to go about it. Yeah. I wonder if this is a turn where you actually don't blitz because of that. You just run this blitz. You just run this blitzer up the field some more too. I don't know. I don't like moving him up. I, I think he, he didn't need a lot up, and he's. I think he's moved too far. Up I don't like not basing the the ref care. Ref cares. He does. He's off. And now look, he's got a potato option hmm. against all odds. Just like Phil Collins. I know why he did that ordering, obviously he wanted the assist, but yeah. And he hasn't got a tackle on the dodge. Matter. I think that he should have just been one back, right? One or two back. Yeah, and so I'd like I think I'd like this the orc lineman to be back and to the left, uh or back two squares and one to the oh, left so he's facing the tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if he was Oh, square. this is this is this is perfect. If this lineup was two squares like up there, I yeah. don't know if you're looking at my street my uh, Discord no, stream. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I am. 
I don't yeah, about. Yeah, I agree. If he's there and then you get him there as well, then there's no easy way out. That's rocky, isn't it? No easy way out. <laughs> He could dodge and blitz that way, and then he, then that gives him an extra square of movement. Um, the movement matters, you know. I really didn't like the blitz with the tackle palmer or the. I think he's a tackle. He's just he's just regular palmer on the stand from guy. Cause like, yeah. Now they're just all stuck over there. And yeah. Could he even run up to just could the he couldn't have run up to base the ball. I don't think. I don't think he could have. No. The Palmer was because I might have considered just doing that to force all the pressure on the ball if you're going to do this play. If you're going to do this. I don't think he could have. Otherwise, I do want one or pressuring. I think is fine, but I think if you're going to do that, you kind of want to do the double edge where you have the orc in the middle of the field back too. So in case he does get some potato, you have someone who can instantly respond to it as instantly as orcs can. Yeah. Don't like standing these guys so well. No, just do this blitz. See if you knock him down, right? And then if you knock him down, yeah. then uh, then you've got. To, if you don't knock him down, you've got to tag him with this guy. Mm -hmm. um, and this guy shouldn't have stood up because this guy could have tagged this black oak. So yeah, I, I yeah. kind of hate what he's done here. Uh, I think do the blitz first, and then tag, and tag, and because you've got you've got to spoon it to him anyway. Like there's no choice. Yeah, this just doesn't do enough, does it? No. So, um, you can't play halfway here. You, you need to either go all in on this, like, as your scoring option, and you basically... Because at this point, it, what happens if this fails? You lose. What happens if you do this and it doesn't work? You lose. Like, yeah. the results of this failing and the more all-in play failing are the exact same. Yeah. Either way, you have a tackle, you have a blodge tackle orc, which is going to come and hit your ball carrier, like, right now. Yeah. Yeah, this And guy possibly your sure hands recovery there, too. Yeah. Very likely you're gonna have a sure hands recovery on the other side of this too, and a black orc who's freed up can who can take out your um Almighty and all your other guys are isolated against a troll. <laughs> Bring it halfway doesn't it makes the orcs turn next turn slightly harder. Slightly. But yeah. the key players are all free up. Like you have the free orc alignment, you have the you have the freed up orc thrower, you have the freed up orc blitzer, it doesn't the rest of the stuff doesn't really matter that much. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is a... Okay, okay. now he's got two, two people and he can't, he can only get burst, he can't get hit. Ooh, can he chain him? Um, can maybe chain him once? Probably not. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, he can. He can maybe chain him twice. Actually, <laughs> he could maybe chain this guy two forward and then surf him. I think right. He goes in there with him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double GFI. Then he comes in, and then he blocks him, and then he gets in. So he could have put in everything into chaining him forward too. I think it's like it's fine that he didn't. It's totally reasonable that he didn't do that, but it would have been funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. And I guess actually surfing him ends up could be bad for you anyway, right? Because then it just gets the ball closer to your end zone anyway. Yeah, you're really happy the ball's back here, I think. Yeah. And isolated. If it gets in the middle, I mean, you have players who can act, but you're... Your freed up guys are ones that are all on the same size of the ball, so you don't want to get into a big scrum, I think. Or the... Chaos do have more agility three guys because you really don't want chaos work picking it up. Actually, that's really bad for you. Yeah, yeah, just double GFI him at the end of the turn. The line art. Okay. I don't know, I don't think of the call, but I think that's fine. And then you sandwich the chaos warrior in with the black orc on top and the troll on the bottom. Yep. Oop, no. Hey. Oh, that hit doesn't matter, and you don't want to re-roll that. <laughs> well, I think it does matter, right? He would have had the dodge away on the three plus. So yeah, I guess. Mm, it's a four plus catch. Yeah, and it's hard for you to recover, so maybe it does matter. Find this It's fine. Narcolepsy happens. <laughs> I got KO'd as well. <laughs> Failed the second one too. I think that's still it's still obviously I think that's still obviously the right play. Yeah. Too. This guy can get free, can he? Um, yes, he can. 
So he one D blitzes him. Um because even a push is good enough, isn't it? It takes him away. And then so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No one can touch him if he stands on that line after getting a push. And then he can uh, just run up and long bomb it. He might not even be able to reach to long bomb it. No, no, he's not. He's, he's going to have to pass it first, isn't he? <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> that's not... So if that's the case, I think you do a three-plus dodge with the... Uh... Art Beastman and try and get Mr. Throw off of him there. Yeah. Issue there is the um, push directions are all bad. Yeah, Fair push. <laughs> yeah, this is rotten, isn't it? The good thing about the, doing this is that you could go. Um, oh no, one, two, three, double chief fighter hit. So you can't base it. On the ball, replacing kick return here, do fucking anything. <laughs> Probably not. Oh. Oh, I guess you don't have to base Mr. Throw. No, it doesn't really do... I guess you could leave Mr. B Mr. Throw free. And then, like, walk onto him when he tries the pass instead. <laughs> and guarantee himself to be in interception range. That's it. It's gonna lob it to the uh, warrior. That makes sense. No, and then the warrior one dude himself off. Yeah, this is a much easier pass to make, at least. Like you just, it's just too far to go, wasn't it? Going that way and then lobbing it to mm -hmm. him. Accurate's good enough. Accurate is so good enough for the orcs for the uh, chaos right now. He needs this um, black orc to roll pushes when he blitzes the he blocks his uh, armor. He's just going to do this hit see what happens. If the Black Orc blitzes, or Black Orc blocks the um, sure hands boat, and Mr. Throw needs to come back over to the side of the field, this Black Orc goes and bases his dodge guy on the left side, then I guess you don't know what the blitz is for the Orcs. The... Well, the first thing you do is block this guy, see if you push him up. Yeah. Because if you push him, then you've got to activate the troll, haven't you? Which you're not very happy about. So you've got to know if you need to activate the troll or not. So you can't move mm -hmm. this guy to base him in case he's got to activate the troll. Okay, get the power. So now this guy can base him. And then now your, your, your guy can run up here and punch the warrior. Go for the pickup. You put the reroll into it, probably. Yeah, you got to right. quite like to win in normal time, wouldn't you? Yeah. Will be hard to score again, but the other your chaos only have um they have one reroll. And I guess we're just not gonna activate the troll. Or no? Yeah, no, it's, it's not getting activated there, is he? It's completely fine not to activate the troll there. Pickup's good. Scoring is still hard from here, because you only have um, two blitzers on the field. X one's KO'd and one's cast, I guess. Yep, and he's about to get hit as well, isn't he? On a 2-2-2 two, 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 to get two diced. Pro. So yeah. actually, he probably yeah. wouldn't have re-rolled the pickup. <laughs> or maybe he should have done the GFI. Did he have a GFI left to you? Sure. Yeah, he did. yeah, he could, have, he could have GFI to here, I guess. That's probably worth it. Geofighter there was probably worth it, wasn't it? Mm. There you go. Hey. Guys are hard sometimes. Just a push. So, yeah, okay, I are in a really bad spot now. Not just because of the pickup or anything, but also now they've got no, they've got spent air out to zero reroll, so now orcs are looking at kick out. Big old kick echo woody. Nah, and or just kick kick woody. That's really kind of less important than they have two rerolls for overtime. It's not like if they don't score here. You can just kind of play normally. Yep. And your claw hasn't done enough to remove orcs. No. 
No, one Kaz. <laughs> Two send-offs. <laughs> Two send-offs, and the send-offs have been like with Kaz and KOs coming off of them, so pretty good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Haven't taken that much, to be fair. Like they've, they've, it's been about even, hasn't it, in terms of bashing? It's just that. Yeah, it's just the two send-offs where they get a claw palmer out, or they, I think they got a claw palmer or like a claw mighty out in the first half, and they got your tackle palm. Claw Palmer out in this half, so like those get send offs have been 100% yeah, the group, yeah. protecting their players, and now they just run away off the field. Uh, I guess I mean, he can't really keep there. it safe though, can he? That's the problem. Oh, he needs a POW here, um, and then. You kind of need a. You kind of need to. Kind of need to do the GFIs to be honest. <laughs> then you can get away from that. Maybe you need to block that warrior first to see if you got a pal. Because if you get blocks the pal, then you take can take the two GFIs to get out outside of range of being only based by the um, chaos warrior, and then the butcher can come in and provide the assist on this beastman, and you can block it with the uh, black orc. And that might have been enough, at least force four plus dodges. He also can still maybe activate the troll. Yeah, hand off to the butcher. Uh, yeah, that might have been a play. Yeah, it's, it's hard, isn't it? Like, it's not easy. Yeah, GFI and then the troll can hit. Yeah, because if the troll hits and gets a push, then you can get two on his uh, beastman, who's the spooky threat right now. Mm. It needs to be a pow. Again, like really, this is just right now. I think you do have to do the GFI to get the Black Orc in to take the troll hit. You have to do the GFI. F2. But this is just a 3 2. But that, you know, you got to leave something on, haven't you? You basically got to yeah, uh, yeah. You got to leave something on here. Is that a move 5 Chaos Warrior? Is that a full move 5 Chaos Warrior? Is that a move 4 1? It is, yeah. yeah. So if you, if you do that, if you do that, then this guy just hits you, doesn't he? So, like. While this is like the obvious kind of thing to do, now he's just I still think this is this is probably still better because now the recover even if he does get the knockdown, the recovery is harder at least. Yeah. Now, because now there isn't any real recovery shot without some with a lot of dice. Maybe. In fact, you've got this hit as well, haven't you? Okay. Now. One, two, three, so, four, five, yeah. six. This one's even Okay, better. so what I was thinking there is maybe I actually don't know if I take that block. Surprisingly, I think you maybe do GFIs with a black orc to get around in front, or on the right side of that um, beastman, and then you do dodge the Mister Thrower out to get in front of the Chaos Warrior here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be like greedier, but probably better. But then, if you're not putting yeah. a reroll in, this is probably safer to just go for the push, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that play you basically having to commit that you're spending a reroll on it is much greedier, but I think it kind of seals up that you're at least getting the ball midfield. But I guess maybe maybe it's not worth guaranteeing that you just want to use the reroll to guarantee a score, not to guarantee instant right now. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I think probably I think I quite quite like the more more. Uh... Like just playing it safe, right? Because you're probably going to be good in overtime. You've got more, way more players than he does. So if you have to play overtime, you're still probably all okay with that. And you're obviously 50-50 you receive, and then you're very okay with it. So mm. I think not re-rolling anything here is a pretty, pretty, pretty decent way to go. Get him back somehow, somewhere, yeah. Yeah, because he can't score this turn, can he? Skull the troll is funny. It is a thing I've thought about. You just usually don't get the troll developed. Oh. That's really... So... Run this blister forward, and then you, you have to serve this carrier. Not just for now, but for potential overtime equity. You have to get this carrier off the field. Is um... At his two heads go, you gotta get that off the field and yeah. hope for it um to get off. To be gone. Getting that off. really helps you know too. Yeah. yeah. Get that goat off. <laughs> um, is there a way to free to free your tackle or probably not? Um probably nothing other than I have dodge. Yeah. 
I don't have tackle on him. Probably nothing better than that. You can you can block the um my claw palmer again. Mr. Throw can do a GFI to tag something maybe. Well no surf on him. So now I punch him and I guess he blitz with the with the uh blitzer and then base the doctor. Yeah. And Mr. Throw can provide the assist to make the on the hit too, yeah. can't he? Yeah. And again the trolls don't activate, trolls doing his best job, just standing there, never activating. Yep. Hey guys, they're so good that you don't use them. <laughs> Best use is to never ever take an action. Yeah, it's it's lame, isn't it? I liked I like Wow, that was bad, wasn't it? The the, the, the Mr. Throw could have done that, that was bad. I, I guess, guess this yeah, way you've got Mr. Throw as well. But that's Mr. Throw can come up and base stuff, yeah. Mr. Throw can now do a GFI, I guess, to base on the other side. I don't like that with only two rerolls. Like, I guess, like, you you know, you're thinking you're going to win in normal time now, but I think that's a bit greedy. And I'm not sure, actually, do I want... I actually need to count squares. One, two... I actually think maybe tackle need to be one square south of there, and then Mr. Thor comes in on bases. Okay, that's probably it. Mm, it's not quite enough. Mr. Thor needed to be... Think on the other side, and tackle guy need to be one square down. That makes you see him. So tackle. So Mr. Throw is a square above the down guy, and and the tackle man is one square low. Yeah. Where he is now. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think I think I like your way more. Whereas now it's just this way, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Three plus without dodge, three plus with dodge, two deep. It um conveniently, and this wasn't part of my plan, but it does, or I wasn't thinking of it. It also gives Mister Throw closer to the ball. <laughs> You're um on a recovery, right? Which actually Mister Throw matters with a lot. So. Hey. Yeah. Doesn't dub school on the three plus this time? Yeah. Probably just GFI and pick it up. And also doing it that way would have meant your tackler was free this turn instead of being based. Yeah. And okay, he's got dodge, but still. So this guy can score, and the dodger can score as well. So I think you do the 1D hoping, hoping for a pal, maybe, with um, Palmer. You dodge out the blitzer and you pass to him. Mr. I think Throw. I think you troll punch, then black oak yeah. blitz, and then GFI into the end zone, and then just pick it up in a tackle zone, pass in a tackle zone, and if you got you know using all rerolls and winning over time, mm. would be my way. So, so that's one carrier down, and it's dead. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure Andrew is very sad that his totally not bloaty spare sure hands goat is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Devastated. <laughs> That's probably. I think I like your play better. At what point do you put in the reroll? Actually, Mr. Throw. I just, so I guess Mr. Throw also it. makes it. Mr. Throw also means you don't. You have a lot of built in rerolls here, which actually does matter because it means you don't have to make so many decisions about when you get to put in the reroll. Like the pass. Maybe not. Okay. I. It's actually a probably fine. Too. I'm not sure it's better or worse. Just now you've got double GFI to do, haven't you? Which... Okay. Well, now it's looking a lot better, isn't it? Like if you, I think this is the probably the play if you put in a reroll. In. And now obviously and... you're going to reroll. In. Hey, Mr. Throw. <laughs> <laughs> That was there was no way to make that a two plus. So that was as good of a pass as you're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> How could you let us down, Mister Throw? You only made a career doing that. Oh, those are How... what are these KO rules? Oh no! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> One out of five for the chaos, and I like five out of five for the orcs. <laughs>
brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh my god. And the orcs win the toss as well. <laughs> Just get fucked. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Sindane. Commiserations, Andrew. At least you tried. Because not over. Andrew has seven goats, seven players on defense, and, and no rerolls. It's a full orc team that has uh, two rerolls, which is basically the normal amount for an entire half. Yeah. Upside is they still have Mr. Throw. <laughs> also, their previous offense wasn't even that great. They gave you some shots on the ball without a unity, without like with a wizard, but so it's still an orc offense. <laughs> and Sendane has two rerolls, but he probably doesn't want to use more than one unless it's going to guarantee them the score because he wants to keep that like, off equity. Won't be a thing in um, Bubble 2020, right? You just roll five dice for some reason, yeah. and then you match them up, and then that's it. It's a needlessly extra. They just added more dice for no reason. Yeah, because there's uh, because there's five kicks in a, in a penalty kick in a penalty shootout, right? In football, in soccer. There's yeah, a, yeah, I know. That's when I think um, Blood Bowl, and I think this mixture of like the NFL and like Aussie rules football and rugby. I think penalty kicks like soccer. <laughs> yeah. So fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, oh, no one tell them the NFL just has draws. That was maybe the great, what my favorite Donovan McNabb quote is like, wait, we have draws? I didn't even know that was possible. He said after an overtime game, I didn't think that was possible in the NFL. I thought we just played to a win. <laughs> it had been like 10 years or something since someone had actually had a draw in an NFL game or something stupid like that, and then they started showing up recently. Yeah, I've seen a few. It's draws. probably it's because of the um, the touchdown rule, partially. Mm. Where it used to be that whoever got the whoever scored first in overtime would win, uh, and they're like, "This is yeah. it's kind it's kind of dumb that Peyton Manning never sees the field, guys. <laughs> Maybe we should let Peyton Manning and Tom Brady like get a chance." So they made it to um, that if you score a touchdown, the game was over, mm. which is. Still relatively quick, but it's still, it's still allowed for some draws because teams would could get two field goals and just do nothing for 15 minutes. Scoring is hard sometimes. Well, after playing for an hour, teams are a bit tired. How <laughs> <laughs> yep. yeah. long? Oh. No need. Well, this is looking. Cheap. It's actually uh yeah, that's the best player he could have targeted too. Like that's clearly the best player left on the field. Yeah. Now you're just hoping you don't lose a rando, a rando Kaz here on the on the way on the way to the uh, next round, well to the final against against. Pro well, I say not probably not probably likely, um, somewhat likely Singolo, right? singolo has got an orc team, a very very good, better orc team than Sindane's orc team, so I think he's got a pretty good shot of making the final. Um, is he uh, matched up against? He's all, he's, it's actually not that good a chance. He's up against Dynamed's Necro, which is a really good Necro team. Ooh. So, yeah, actually, not that. Orcs can be a fun matchup. So that's a it's a much more dynamic one than Chaos or Source, which is just whose Kaz works. Necro at least has a bit of a speed disparity they can lever sometimes. Yeah, Chaos has that, but they don't leverage it the way Necro do, or they're not as aggressively as Necro do typically. Yeah, yeah, the Necro is an excellent team. That's a good point. Um, yeah, the only thing they lost was the uh, was a miss next game from the uh, the strength four carrier. Um, you know, which which obviously you'd rather have him, but it'd be wild if it's two orcs in the final, won't it? But yeah, Di Diamond's a good player, isn't he? Very good player, and uh, and obviously Necro can be good. Oh, they lost the killer on the last blitz. They did, yeah. Oh shit, yeah. That's a good point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Singolo's team not looking so good. <laughs> it's, it, it's funny that uh, we say it'd be wild for two orcs in the finals, but orcs are still probably the by far the most popular ladder team. Yes. Even though they're not very good. Everyone just plays them because they're like, well, I'm bored. I don't feel like trying. I'm just gonna two dice some things with armor value nine. Or base, base, base. Block, block, block. 
Oh look, I've managed to somehow score. Cool. Yeah, I like orcs. <laughs> Everyone likes orcs. It got worse for some reason. Orcs are kind of one of the more well balanced teams. I guess. They kinda do their thing. I'm not sure they're as interestingly designed as like Necro or um Norsar, as much as Norse are annoying, armor value 10, 87 bash team. But at least they're an interesting design. Orcs are pretty, like... Put some strength for dudes, and some dudes with block. Alright, we're done. <laughs> yep. Alright, this does not need to move up uh, too quickly, is there? He's just got to worry about that, that two heads guy getting a ball sack, so just make sure... Make sure... His two heads can't get a rowdy ball sack on you. Yep. <sighs> swing the black or swing this guy over. Actually, I actually would have swung him back oh, over to the right so into the cage to prevent any like weird one dice. Eat, yep. and in case eat that. In eat case that. Uh, I, I guess he can't eat that dub school because um, he has no apo. So oh, he, he really matter, couldn't so. have done. He also, he yeah. could have just punched this guy and then and then and then hit the two D the ball. Yeah. So, but yeah, you know, if if this black orc could just stayed where he was or, or like you know stood here or something, then he could have eaten that dub skills or he could have quartered it and he would have still been all right. Mm. Yeah. I just like running that black orc into the cage so that there isn't any two heads nonsense that I can't see. I just don't really. I just want to make make like a minus two or make it a force to always be a one D or something like that. I don't really want to give it any kind of shot. Also, the black orc being on the side of the ball seems better than on the left side of the all the chaos warriors. I guess he's thinking he can activate the troll next turn. Maybe you know. It's, yeah. That's a thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's just the only thing you're. The orcs are basically playing with the knowledge that in one or two turns the. Uh, USB Smith's gonna cage dive. Because that will be the only play left available to him. So that's going to happen. Oops. <laughs> He's cast. He's not cage diving. <laughs> so I guess stand firm guy goes with the tag. Yeah, force yeah, a dodge. Then you put guard on the corners. Yeah. yeah. He's got to free somebody up, so he's got to he's got to punch this guy first. I'll just do that. Might not even have. Anyway. He can also just kind of run and force it to be a minus two, even or a one. Really, by putting the black orc on the right in the middle here. Oh yeah, yeah, he could have done. Yeah. yeah. Now it's a one D on that right side. If he just puts the black orc in the middle. Probably not much be done but he can now he can now bring this up he can now bring the black orc back to the right side yeah oh he can reach all the way up there he's not even blitzing the two heads dude oh i don't like that so I don't hate it because now you push the other beast in further away. I don't know why we're following. I don't like following at all. I hate piling on. <laughs> I hate all of that. I hate all the end of that. I, I don't mind that if you just run the blitzer back to the right side. I hate that. Like, everyone to the other side of the field. None of these guys matter. <laughs> Not, literally, none of those players matter. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's got four players. Whether you know, even if he hits the ball, yeah. it doesn't matter. Does it? <laughs> and he's been very, very satisfyingly beaten off. Very good, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, and he fails. And he gets armor broken to make sure he get definitely scores. Does he hand off to anybody? Is a question, I guess. Um, um, level. Fifty, Mister Throken level. Mister level. Uh, Throw levels then. Mister Throw levels and takes some nonsense skill. I don't even know what he takes. Leader maybe. 
Actually, you know what? Leader is probably genuinely good in overtime format to have an extra yeah. reroll. You just oh, take leader, and you're completely happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. Leader, and you don't even you don't leader, and you don't even sack the reroll. You just keep you just run four. Mm. And then uh, if you're not facing a flaw team, you just play defense, and you go four in the second half. Guaranteed. Yeah, Mr. Throw, there's no one else like Mr. Throw could have done a completion to level and but there's no one at hand back to him. He'll just score next turn. No problem. Maybe this guy could have got I guess there's MVP, right? He's got a thing of MVP, so um, he could have he could have done a pass and then handed off to the 43 SPP Blackhawk. I don't think you do. Yeah, I don't think you do. No, I don't think you do either. It, it's at the end of the second half and you're up 1-0, you absolutely do that at this, in this situation, but not in overtime where you just want win. Yeah, leader or stab, yeah. Yeah, obviously he's, he'd be happy with a stab, wouldn't he? Uh, he, he, has he, has he, got, he hasn't got dodge, has he? Oh, God, yeah, so agility's not even... Oh, I mean, he's done two pass plays, so maybe Jody's not that bad. Maybe more accurate. Edgy 5 passing. Ah, oh, well, Troll got MVP. Uh, 24 armor breaks to 3. Imagine a Chaos team getting 3 armor breaks. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Amazingly, the Chaos did not win. <laughs> 23 blocks. He made 23 blocks. My god. <laughs> he took three Chaos and... He took three kills and two Chaos, because two of them were himself, weren't they? Do uh, failing GFIs. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so a KO and a Chaos were failing GFIs. <laughs> he only inflicted two KOs and one Chaos. So you got three armor breaks into three removals. Look at dog. But, yeah, that's, that's something, isn't it? 23 blocks. And then yeah, the armor breaks are like 16. two of those are fouls, and some of those are piling on rerolls, but still might. Twenty-three blocks is, I think, more indicative of how one-sided that was. That the chaos just had. There were a lot of turns in that first half. They were like, "Well, we stand up and we get murdered next turn too, because we can't do any blocks." Yep. <laughs> That's the end of our action. Yep. Twenty-three blocks though, and twenty-four armor breaks. Imagine, <laughs> imagine as a bash team <laughs> receiving more armor breaks. <laughs> then you made blocks. <laughs> That's hard to win. <laughs> you go. Um, I'm not sure it was a it was a dicing though. I don't. I think it probably was. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 not that it isn't it isn't right. It is kind of set up. It is set up that way yeah. that if if the chaos claw doesn't fire, then they get ruined, and it didn't fire, and they yeah. got ruined. Um, but obviously, yeah, the dice could have been better or worse or whatever. I don't think it was a, um, that the matchup and the nature of it decided it as much as just having slightly worse dice and just the nature of bash matchups where if you start out with bad dice, it snowball and it didn't. Yeah, like you, no, you claw the has KO to work. Rolls were also, yeah, yeah, the, the KO, KO rolls were also ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, like the, the chaos, I mean, turns out guards are good skill, yeah, if you don't get removed, right? That, like, <laughs> that's the thing. If if he if he had just removed loads of people, then oh, it wasn't God. even that. Oh um... wow! Look at this: 35, 40, 51, and then twenty-two, nineteen, ten. <laughs> so yeah, it was horrible dice, horrible block dice, um, horrible. Right, vehicles. the bribe fail was huge too. Like if you're saying, like guard's good. The chaos weren't even low on guard. They just held into a removal into instant bribe fail. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. then their guard guy is gone. Like it's just like well. Also, yes. the Chaos chaos team's warriors were good. The Beastmen were pretty shit outside of the tackle, outside of the Claw Palmer. Yeah. And the Claw Palmer went and got himself removed by laying on the ground and instantly got fouled because what else are you going to do to that thing? Exactly. So that was that was a bit of a mistake, probably, getting leaving your Tackle Palmer out to dry. Your Claw Palmer out to dry for nothing. Didn't really seem to accomplish anything going for that, other than maybe, I guess, chasing Kaz, but... You just yeah, kind of like you've your, got to, you've got to chase cows. It's, it's, it's hard, right? It's hard because if you don't make yeah. those cows, you're gonna lose. Like that. That's that's the thing. But anyway, yeah. thank you very much, Squirrel Dude, for joining us for this one. Absolutely glorious. Um, congratulations, Sindane. Commiserations, Andre. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.